All right, now we have a book that needs some repairs. The first thing to do any time you repair a book is to decide whether it's worth it. First of all, I look at the cover and see if it's something that will appeal to kids. It looks appealing. It's a holiday book, of course. Uh, we look inside to see that the other pages are in pretty good shape. There's some marking, but it looks like a pretty well-bound book. The binding pretty tight, Judy? Yes. Okay. In there really snug. A little bit of dirt, but not bad. You know, I think we'll keep this one. Uh, it still it has color pictures, which is an advantage for older books. Mm -hmm. So we need to just repair the cover so it looks more appealing. So the first thing we do is take the cover off. We have a handy dandy knife here. We're going to take off in this instance. It just, that one just came off. It was used old tape. But in this one, it's still caught. So we're just going to take and just run carefully along the edge and just cut off the tape holding the, spot, the jacket. Repeat on the other side. Let's see here. I want to move it here. Careful not to cut the book. There's one little repair needed on that. Uh, right there. Right there. So. So now I'm going to remove the jacket. Open it up. And this one, here we go. Not even taped down. So we're going to open it up. And remove the jacket. Notice how much brighter this jacket is already than it was inside there. That's because that mylar has gotten very dirty and scuffed over the years and is not very pretty anymore. Okay. So it, it kind of hid the beauty of this cover. So we have our tear that we want to repair. So we want to flip it over because we want to tape it from behind. We want to make sure that the tear is folded correctly the way that it actually tore in the beginning so that we can hopefully hide the tear. So take your tape and we're going to place it together as best we can and then tape from the inside. I'm going to make this as secure as we can get it so that it doesn't tear in the future in the same spots. And all from behind, that way your tape doesn't show on the outside, but your tear is repaired. Now this cover, once we took that mylar jacket off, isn't very faded. It's a good glossy cover. Some of them seem to get faded over the years. And if we want to pick them up, make them kind of pop and, and look new again, we can laminate them. Laminating somehow makes the, the colors, colors brighter. With this one, I don't think we need to do that. So I think we'll skip that step, but keep that in mind. You laminate it, then you trim it, and then we're going to cover it just like a new book, even if it's laminated. We cover it even if it's laminated because the laminate can rip and rip the whole cover. And now we want to, now that we have it taped properly in place, we want to recover it. So we want to choose the correct size of our dust jacket. And this is a 10 inch. And that is really close, so we're going to take and roll it out. Oh, but before we do this, that's true. We have something else we have to do, of course. Yes, because the old spine label is actually attached to the dust jacket. We need to print out a new label. And in our case, we also use holiday labels because we have a complete section for holidays. And we want to attach those to the spine of the cover before we recover it. We also want to take a look at the book and remove all the old tape so that it's a nice clean surface when we go to recover the jacket. Also, you want to go through the book and see if there are any tears that need to be repaired. Now, is that a special tape you're using for the repair there? 
you know, we, we just used the, the Scotch Magic Tape, the Invisible Tape. It, it goes on nice. There are tapes that you can buy specifically for repairing torn pages, but we find that we have such a high turnover of books that uh, the, the Scotch Tape works really well. Is there a kind of tape you don't want to use? You don't want to use um, tapes that will turn yellow and, and um, crack. The, the magic tape, like, it disappears when you put it on the page. So you don't want something that uh, has a, a film or a coating that, that will stand out on your page. The old cellophane thing tapes tend to crack. crack. And also you don't want something too thick. The, thick, the book tape is probably a little bit too thick for average page repairs. That's correct. So we just flip through our book, make sure that we've got tears repaired, make sure our pages are in snug. Because we want to make sure the book is going to last for a while. Make sure all your tears Fold the right way. And only use as much tape as you really need to get the job done. You don't really want to overdo the tape. Okay, that looks good. How about if a whole page was loose? If a whole page is loose, if Do it's we just actually, put tape down the spine? No. If, if you have a complete tear of your page, you want to take that torn page and probably the best way to, to fix that is to take it, use glue, and run it right along the edge of the torn page, and then take it and reseat it back in the book, placing wax paper on either side, and then closing the book and, and kind of holding it. You can use like a binder clamps or uh, just the weight of another book on top until that glue uh, dries and sets. And we'll, and we'll show you that in another video. We'll make That's here. correct. So this book looks like it's ready to go. And it has a pocket in it. Why, why does it have a pocket in it? The pockets were used back before library systems became automated. This was used in the old card catalog system where we were able to keep track of who checked the items out, and the dates that they were checked out it was a way of keeping track. Most libraries today do not use these cards anymore. Thank goodness. Yes, thank goodness. So we usually just toss them when we find them in our book. Yes. So thank you again, okay. Judy. Thank you.